Today we're going to look at the addition strategy of using the standard algorithm. You might ask, what is the standard algorithm? An algorithm is just a strategy that we use to solve a problem. So the standard algorithm is the regular strategy that we use to solve a problem, or the strategy that we most often use. Most of us have used this strategy many, many times. So when we use this strategy, it's usually the quickest and the easiest to use. But it also can sometimes be tricky because sometimes we may not understand what it means. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about what the standard algorithm means and why it works. So in order to do the standard algorithm, we take a look at this problem, 347 plus 376. If we're going to add 347 with 376 using the standard algorithm, we're going to line up the, the digits so that the place values line up. Right here we have the ones, ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. That way we can add ones with ones, tens with tens, and hundreds with hundreds. Remember when we did the concrete models and we use the blocks to show? The standard algorithm is very similar, but instead of using pictures, we use numbers as a shortcut. So the first thing that we're going to do when we add two numbers we're using the standard algorithm is that we always add the ones place first. The reason we add the ones place first is we might have to regroup and we might have to add, take some of our ones, 10 of them, and turn them into a 10. So let's add these together. 7 plus 6 is 13. I can't put 13 in the ones place because I can only have a one digit number in the ones place. So since I have a 10 and 3, I'm going to leave the 3 in the ones place and I'm going to take 10 ones and change them into 110. Now that I've regrouped, I can now, and add the ones place, I can now add the tens place. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Again, I have two digit, a two digit number, and I can't put a two digit number in the tens place. 12 tens is the same as two tens and ten tens. And I know that if I put ten tens together, that makes a hundred. So I'm going to put my two tens in the tens place, and I'm going to take my ten tens and turn it into a hundred and put it in the hundreds place. Now I can add the hundreds place. One plus three is four. Four plus three is seven. And so in the end, I end up with the answer of seven hundred and twenty.